Good afternoon, fellow Plexers, and specifically Mike, who we're going to help out with an issue, or try to help out. Mike has lost access to certain media. He's using an older Mac computer as his server, and all his drives are portables. Um, so I don't have any portable drives myself. Everything's on my Synology NAS, and my main server is running on the DS1520+. Plus. And I've got a little test unraid server going for about two months on a NUC. No storage of its own. It points back to my Synology NAS. But I'm going to simulate some troubleshooting steps for Mike to see if he can pinpoint possible permission issues on one of his different portable devices. Which is why I have this um, file manager pulled up. So, I have everything nested in one Plex share on my Synology NAS. And then I have a movie library sort folder and a TV show library sort folder. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight separate movie libraries, but all these actual Plex library folders are in this one library sort folder. So we're going to represent each separate drive of Mike's as one of my separate movie library folders to help him figure out um, which drive he might be able to see from his computer but that doesn't have permission set for Plex to see it. So this video is um, just on the fly, nothing scripted. I'm not a pro YouTuber. I'm going to say the wrong words sometimes. I'm going to slur my words. Um, I just try to help people out. So let's call my arts as portable drive one. Let's call my concerts portable two, and I'm writing down notes. My documentary one will be portable three, and my kids' movie library will take the place of portable four. And that's how I'll refer to things. So inside each of these, um, oh, actually, this is the wrong one. So let's cross off arts as portable one and make that performing arts. That was old storage that got renamed. Okay, so inside this are my actual movie folders, and, and the movie files are inside those. Inside my concerts, the same documentary the same and kids the same. So the, these folders on my NAS will substitute for portable hard drives, let's, let's say. Um, so what Mike should do is he should find, he should find a, a movie on each drive that he can see from his computer and just mark it on a piece of paper that, you know, this Concert by the Lake is on Portable 1. This Advocate movie is on Portable 2. This um, Bayo movie is on Portable 3. And this um, 42nd Street is on Portable 4. <clears throat> he needs to have a list of one movie or one TV show episode, but let's just do movies for now from each of his portables that he knows is there and that he can see through his file manager on his Mac computer. So that's that's the setup. And then you can go into app.plex.tv, log in to your server settings, and you want to go down to manage and choose libraries. Um, I have more than one server running, so let me let me switch to my Unraid server because all my users are on the Docker install on my DS1520. This is my old Plex install that's not being used on my older NAS. And this is the Unraid box that only I'm using. So I'll switch to that. So if any of my users pop on, they won't see new libraries being added and stuff like this. Only I will see this. Eventually, I'll move all my... Um, friends and family over to my little NUC that's running Unraid. So all you want to do is add a test movie library. And we're just going to call it movies-test. 
We'll click next. We'll browse for media. And this will look different to you, Mike, but it's the same principle. I know the alias for, for my files in the NAS is just movies, so now I can see these. So I told you performing arts was um, substituting for part one. I clicked in. I don't have to actually add this. All I have to do is see if I can see the movie folders. If I can see the movie folders at this point, I know that that drive has the correct permissions um, for Plex to see it. So I can just go up one level. Well, actually, I can't. I have to go back to movies. And now if my concert library is substituting for your portable drive too, you just have to click into it. And if you can see the media folders at this point, that light or that drive should have permissions for Plex. So then we have um, my documentary library folder, substituting for your portable drive three. And I can see everything here, so the permissions are okay. And then we were using the kids movie library to substitute for your portable drive four. And again, I can see all the folders. And that should be enough to identify which of your portables may not have the proper permission set. And that's as far as I can take you. I know absolutely nothing about a Mac. I know hardly anything about Windows because I dropped Windows back around maybe a year before Windows XP came out for Ubuntu. Uh, I'm sorry, before Windows 7 came out. Windows 7 sucked me back into the Windows world for about six months and I gave that up and went back to Ubuntu. And in 2014, um, I found the point two release of elementary OS where I've been happily ever since. So short and quick, um, this is how I would troubleshoot your issue with my experience only using Plex on Synology NASes and, and Unraid, but you know, on a RAID setup for media. Um, let me know if you can identify a drive, a portable drive that doesn't have the permission set. Thanks for watching.